asked about how they can use uh, data from Revit within an access environment um, in conjunction with the use of ID8 BIMLINK. As you probably know, BIMLINK is a great way to export data and import data between Revit and Excel. So now we're looking at the additional layer of access, which can bring some much needed functionality to this data management process. We'll start by creating um, a lighting fixture link. We can see in this project that we have uh, approximately six different lighting fixtures in this project. And on the left hand side we see the, the reflected ceiling plan. What we'll do within the BIMLINK environment is we'll take a look at uh, lighting fixture data. As you know, you can use the top level, fil level filter to look at a variety of items that we can edit within, uh, within BIMLINK. In this particular example, we're going to look at type-based information for lighting fixtures. We do know one of the things about use in access is that you'll need to eliminate spaces. So we'll just add that underscore there. And then uh, within BIMLINK, we can decide what family, or excuse me, what parameters we want. So for example, type mark, type name, um, we want manufacturer model, maybe family name, I would go up here, and then I'll, uh, you know, whatever other, whatever other parameters you might want to be modifying within your database. So we'll go ahead and we'll export that information. As you probably know, BIMLINK will um, create an Excel file. It supports these uh, three different file formats. We are going to be using .xls, the, 90, the Excel 97 file format, for a couple of reasons, mostly having to do with formatting. So we'll go ahead and we'll save that. I'm going to overwrite my existing file. And then we can take a look at that file. Let's look at date modified here. All right, so this is the file we just made. This is what it looks like coming out of, um, of BIMLINK. We can go ahead and edit this data here and then bring it back into Revit if we want. Um, but there may be some reasons why we want to bring that data instead into Access. So we'll go through that process here. You can look for that information. Here's the table. We'll go ahead and create a new table within this access. Indicate that it has row headings. And make some choices about how we're going to manage this data. And then uh, we're, it's important here that the name of the table does match the name of the link within BIMLINK. That naming convention is important. So we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, so now we've got this data here. And we could go ahead and you know, change this. This is ABC lighting. And then we can go ahead and you know, add different information here. Two years. And say this is A. And this one's B. Okay, so we'll change some data within the access environment. Um, then when we're ready, we're going to go ahead and export this data out. Uh, we are going to, as I said, we are going to need to use this 97 file format. Um, BIMLINK uh, is not recognizing the import. There's additional characters that are being added uh, with some of these other file formats. So we'll go ahead and, and choose that as our file format. We are going to prefix this with the date. just for data management's sake. So we'll go ahead and write that file out and then back in the BIMLINK side we can, we can import that file that came from Access. We'll see the changes here and we'll see them as we close this. We'll see those update over here. So that's just one way you could leverage the data coming in out of BIMLINK within an access environment. ID8 is an Autodesk authorized developer with 25 years of experience in software development with a specific focus on building information modeling. For complete information about ID8 BIMLINK, please visit our website at www.id8bimlink.com.